how we go. We're on, we're on. Beautiful one. Oh. Just over the 50 mark. Awesome. How good is that? Hi, welcome back to Muddy Feet. Now, my epic North Island road trip has officially begun. I'm taking this beautiful little 390 power cat from Kingfisher all the way around the North Island. Today, I'm up in the beautiful Mangafai, and my plan is to head out to the harbour and have a bit of a shallow water session. So, all I'm going to take with me is some spare trace line, a few ball sinkers, a packet of soft baits and jig heads and uh, since my main target today is going to be Trevally I'm using little tiny 4 bar o BKK circle hooks I'm using pilchards for bait and I've got a bit of burley in my chilli bin and I'm just about ready to roll It's my very, very first time visiting Mangafai, and I've got to say, this place is absolutely beautiful. I'll definitely be coming back on my way back down the country. The first thing I did when I rolled into town was visit Mangafai Fishing and Tackle. That's where I met the owner and operator Dave, who's a local fishing legend. The weather in Mangafai at the moment isn't exactly the best, so Dave recommended a sweet little spot up the harbour where I could target some snapper and trevally. Then he hooked me up with some salmon burley and possibly the freshest bag of pilchards I've ever seen. Just in case you missed some of my recent videos explaining the situation, you may be noticing that the tinny is looking very, very polished today. And that's because it's not my usual tinny. This is a beautiful 390 power cat from Kingfisher. I've been working together with a group of amazing sponsors to put together this boat over the last month. Now, I've popped it in the water a couple of times for a bit of a test run, but today is the first day that I'm going to be doing a solo fishing adventure on the brand new boat. Right, first things first, let's deploy the burley. Give that a bit of a shake to get the flavour really flowing out into the water and it's time to chop up a few pillies. I'm just going to be using little wee cubes to match my 4 bar hooks today because although it's likely that I'll catch a few snapper in this spot, my main target for today is Trevally. I get my first bait rigged up and deployed and that's when I get spotted by a couple of friendly local lads. They come over to say good day. How's it going lads? Hey. I only just got here. Hi. What about you guys? Had any luck? No, we only got to around here. Oh yeah, sweet. Here's these young fellas. Right, and there's my bait ready to deploy. Good old pilly tail, can't go wrong. I was just about to deploy my second bait and then wha-bam, the first one gets smashed and I'm hooked up. Pretty cool to catch a fish in the first five minutes and I'd call that a pretty awesome start to the trip. It's pretty cold out here though, so I have a quick costume change and before I know it, wha-bam, I'm hooked up again. It turns out to be just another little wee snapper, so I pop him back as well. Often this happens when you pump a burley trail, the first few fish to turn up a small snapper, 
but I'm pretty confident those bigger fish aren't too far behind them. Next minute, quabam! I'm hooked up again and this one feels suspiciously like it might be the target species. species acquired in the first 10 minutes. Beautiful big trevally. Fresh sashimi is on the menu for dinner tonight. Beautiful fish. So that's on those, that's why I was using those little hooks today. I want to catch these guys. They've got quite soft mouths but that BKK four burrow set beautifully in the corner of the mouth and look at the results. What the my absolute favourites. So these guys have quite a lot of blood in them, so I'm going to bleed this guy and then uh, leave them on the ice. Beautiful. Targeting Trevelli is heaps of fun and pretty straightforward. You've just got to stick to a few fundamentals. Small hooks paired with small baits, nice light line and the minimum amount of weight that you can get away with. Bog in the smoke. It would appear that this time I've hooked up to an absolute donkey of a Trevelli and I try to apply a little bit of extra pressure to him to keep him away from my other line and pop, I've pulled the hooks, amateur. Oh. Okay. It's my fault, I put too much pressure on him with that soft mouth and uh, pulled the hook out. Had to kind of put a fair bit of pressure on him there though because he's going over towards my other line but there you have it, missed out. I dry my tears and redeploy a fresh bait because the burley is really starting to pump now and there's plenty more fish in the sea. My mate Dave at the fishing shop did warn me that I probably only want to fish one rod but often I'm not a great listener. So here I am playing a little bit of musical rods and luckily I managed to still hook up to another great fish. Red, and it's going in the pot.
Got another nice little trev. Really got a couple of nice ones for the table, so I'll pop this fella back. Hopefully we can get another one of those real big models. One of those big horse treads. All right, simple as. Little cube for Billy. With the damage. One of the better ones. These are the ones we're after. Oh yes, that's the big ones. <laughs> this one's a horse, bro. This is a huge one. This is a real good one. What a first run. Beautiful trim, absolute beautiful trim. Look at the condition on it, fat as can be. It's going to make a beautiful bit of raw fish. Whew. The main reel that I'm using today is a Catch IRT 200 and it's spooled up with 20 pound Tasline. It's got silky, silky smooth drag which is perfect for fighting these trevellies with their soft mouths. Good one. In the bag. All day. Right, 
Alright, let's get this big fella back. Road for like seven months. Yeah, bro. All the way up the top, bro. Oh, really? Yep, yep. And I'll go right up to the camping and then go down to the bottom of the north as well. Cool. Cool. Cheers, bro. Nice to meet you too. Big one, bro. <laughs> Shit. Of course. Man, that is a horse of a chameleon. Too big. Another fantastic fish. Check this out, guys. Look at this fish Put on the U deck measure. Look at that. Right on the 50 mark. How good is that? Just over the 50 mark. How good is that? Beautiful Trevally. Right, let's get him unhooked and we'll pop him back in the water. Well, actually, just look at this just quickly. Look. Beautiful, beautiful hook set. Corner of the mouth. Little BKK four bar O's doing the damage just like they're supposed to. And look at this. This is why they're so cool. Just roll them out. Nothing complicated. Right, let's get this beautiful fish back in the water. Away he goes. Another one bites the dust. Try to see if we can catch one or two more of those. I'm down to down to two and a half pillies, two and a bit pillies. Once they're gone, it's game over. Back to the boat ramp, back to make up the sashimi. Last bait, see how we go. Just to catch one more, but we're in a different session anyway, so if we don't, I'm still a very heavy man. We're on, we're on. Lucky last bait. How's that? What a great way to finish an epic little session. Another beautiful little tree. Look at that. Go the little 4 bar o BKKs. They have been deadly today. Check it out, another beautiful one. Oh. 
Another beautiful little trip. Yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, that concludes my epic little Mungafai Harbour session. I've successfully landed my target species, which was a few fat trevally for some sashimi later on. Then there's a lot of difficult birds to say. Well, that concludes my epic little Mungafai Harbour session. I've got the trevally I was after. I'm a happy man. The only thing left to do is to take this boat up to the ski lane and take it for a little bit of a hoon. Right, let's go. with that one that's going to be delicious. Pretty happy with that. Sashimi's on tonight mate. Wow that is absolutely beautiful. Condition on that fish is like A plus.
Massive shout out to Grant for your hospitality while I was in Mangafai, and also a huge shout out to Dave from Mangafai Fishing and Tackle also for your hospitality and the pro tips about where to fish in the harbour and what to use for bait. Cheers bro, legendary. To all of you champions at home, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And if you haven't been to Mungafai, guys, check the place out. It's amazing.